Bonsoir. Good evening. Good evening. I'm Ben Sidron, and tonight we celebrate the music and the spirit of Charles Christopher Parker. You know, it's amazing that a young artist who died so many years ago at such an early age could continue to have such a strong influence on us all, but that, of course, is the measure of true art. It does live on, and tonight it lives on in performances by some of our greatest musicians. Right now, the Phil Woods Quartet, Mr. Hal Galper on piano, Steve Gilmore on the bass, Bill Goodwin on drums, on alto saxophone, Phil Woods. My fondest memory of Bird is the, uh, the kindness that he treated young musicians. Uh, I knew Bird a little bit, but only peripherally. I remember being in Charlie's Tavern, he'd always ask me if I had lunch. You know, the, the, the common accepted dogma is that he would always hit you up for money, but he never borrowed any money from me. He would, if, if anything, was, the opposite was true. He would offer to make sure you had lunch, and very kind, we jammed once together. I was in doubt about my saxophone. He played it. I had no more doubts anymore. The horn was fine. The mouthpiece seemed to be working quite well. <laughs>
Thank you very much. Merci bien. Good evening, bonsoir. We're going to do a ballad that Bird is famous for recording, and this is called My Old Flame.
I miss him. <laughs> we all miss him. But I think he was like a meteor. I don't think he was meant to stay around too long. I think that uh, towards the end of his career, at the risk of at the risk of being put down, I think he'd said what he had to say. It was becoming repetitive. I mean, his, his the explosion. It was as a meteoric impact. I don't think he was meant to grow old. He just came here and turned the whole universe around and left. And it's going to take us maybe a couple hundred years to digest the message that he left us. And that was his purpose in life. That's why the good Lord put him down here, I do believe. Charlie Parker spoke through us all. Some of us try to find words to express his eloquence. Very few have managed to match him one for one. We're very, very pleased to have tonight with us such an artist. Ladies and gentlemen, John Hendricks and company featuring on piano, Larry Goldings on bass, Ty Mitchell on drums, Jimmy Cobb and vocals by Michelle Hendricks, Aria Hendricks, Kevin Burke, Judith Hendricks, and the one and only John Hendricks, John Hendricks and Company. Shan and his orchestra, and a young 19-year-old cat playing the alto saxophone, Charles Parker Jr., Kansas City, Missouri. Charlie Parker. Charlie Parker changed my whole life. There I was, uh, ensconced in the University of Toledo, studying the law, you know, going to be uh, a, a famous lawyer, and Bird comes to town, and I had always been singing, you know, all through law school, I had a little band that I worked with that night. So he came through, and uh, I had been singing, you know, scat and that, that kind of stuff since my days without Tatum when I was 14. And so I asked him if I could scat with him, and he said, yeah. So I went up on the bandstand, and, uh, and I scattered a course after McKinley Dorham. And uh, I started off the bandstand, and Bird literally reached out and pulled my coattail, you know, and said, so I went over and sat down next to him, you know, while West Things playing, you know, Kenny is blowing, and we had this fast bandstand conversation, like, what are you doing? I'm studying law. You ain't no lawyer, what am I? You're a jazz singer, what does that mean? Well, you gotta come to New York. I don't know anybody in New York. Well, you know me, where will I find you? Just ask anybody. <laughs> what kind of cat is this? Two years and four months later, I go to New York, I call up Joe Carroll, I said, where's Bird? He said, he's 125th Street and 7th Avenue at the Apollo Bar. 
<laughs> so I walk in the bar, two years and four months after this seven minute bandstand conversation, and he's playing the song as you, and I walk by, he says, hey, John, how you doing? You want to sing some? I couldn't believe it. The man changed my life. He was, he was, he was bird. Thank you very much, Charles Parker, Jr. Here's Charles Parker, Jr., composer, Billy's Bounce. I love to hear a bunch of cats like a group. Knocks me out, makes me move. Tell you what I'm talking about. They get to cook in one of them fancy foods. Don't really make no difference who's the one I want to shoot. Charlie Parker in a real Kansas City mood. 
Parker's move. Now you'll see how it was for me in Kansas City. Some funky blues I heard in Kansas City. Downhearted us funky blues. A Kansas City ditty. Talking about that nightlife. Talking about that. Talking about uptight life. Talking about we're blues. The only color scheme. I don't live in an awful lot of blue. Living up and up like a lot of people do. I believe in sharing my experiences with you and playing you plenty of the prettiest blues praises while singing the music's praises. Out of the blue, sure are pretty. I can remember when I heard the first of all the many kinds of blues that I've ever heard. It was just about seven, but the music sent me to heaven and I heard what the blues were saying to me. They were setting me free. Free as I'd ever be. They see your body is down while leaving you up in the spirit, heaven bound. That's the reason everybody will understand them when they hear all of the soul, all of the beauty, it's the main part of the blues. It's true for me, and it's true for Kansas City. Michelle Hendricks rejoins us on the bandstand. And we perform another composition by Charlie Parker, but this one has a lyric. And the lyric is by lyricist Charlie Parker. Here's Bird's lyric to his Yardbird Suite, which he retitled for lyrical purpose, What Price Love, Charlie Parker. Oh, 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 oh,
classical music, Charlie Parker with strings, done in vocalese. Here's Matt Dennis's Everything Happens to Me, Charles Parker Jr. This song You can bet your life it rains I try to give a party But the folks upstairs will complain I guess I'll go through life Just catching colds and missing trains Everything wrong happens to me On top of that I haven't missed a thing I've had the measles and the mumps and when I lay it face down, well, my partner's ready to trump. I guess I'm just a fool who never looks before he jumps. Everything is always happening to me. At first I thought that love would end this jinx for me. That love would find a way to end despair. Telegraphed and phoned you, sent an airmail special to Your answer was goodbye, and there was even postage due. I fell in love just once, and it had to be with you. Everything happens to me. Maybe one day your love will change, and you'll find romance, and won't that be strange? At first, I thought that love would end this jinx for me. I had this fantasy that love would find a way to end despair. But now I just can't fool this heart that thinks for me. I've mortgaged all my castles in the air. I've telegraphed and phoned you, sent an airmail special to they told me your answer was a goodbye There was even postage too I fell in love just once And then I had to do that with you Everything is always happening to me Merci, merci bien. Ah. Thank you. Uh -huh. Voici le coup de grâce. <laughs> this is a composition of Cole Porter's. It's arranged by Joe Lipman. And Charlie Parker eats it up. He has dîner. <laughs> 
Here is Charlie Parker's DNA. Night and day. I'm gonna go 